Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we solve exercise number 3-15. In this exercise, a compromise between complete specialization of model 3-2 and complete generalization of model 3-3 of what might be for Alif and Betty to form a two-unit resource, each unit of which would check the credit and prepare the covenant for a loan application. The application would then move on to a second two unit resource, Chuck and Doris, and each unit of which would price the loan and disperse the fund. This would require less investment in cross training, all four employees, for all four tasks. So, run this compromise model under the same condition as for model 3 2 and 3 3 and compare the results with those from model 3-2 and 3-3 okay so move to the arena home stream first one insert the create module and name it as the application arrives the time between arrival is randomly distributed with its value is 1.25 hours entities per arrival is 1 and maximum arrivals is infinite and the entity type here is application then click insert the process module and under the process module first rename it as alif betty check credits and prepare covenant and the action is cease delay release and the resource name is alif betty and unit to cease value is one and the expression delay type is expression and its expression is expo one plus expo one and then click ok then again drag an other process module and name it as Chuck Doris price loan and disperse fund and under cease delay release action define the resource Chuck Doris and you need to seize value 1 and this expression is expo1 plus expo1 and click ok and then finally add the dispose module to the model and this is the queue length of these two processes and uh, using the resource animation you can add the resource for idle and busy so how you can make this workstation simply use the draw toolbar to make these two workstation for both of two processes same is the case for idle and same is the case for busy and click this sees area so that you can see the both resources in these two workstation repeat the same step for the other process chat and doris workstation okay so the chart is added using the entities word in process uh, that is the expression that shows the word in process applications and the time frame is from 0 to 160 hours entity initial picture is picture dot report and there are two resources and capacity of each resource is equal to two and uh, the queue type is first in first out and uh, under the run setup menu make 160 hours for replication length and the number of replications is equal to one and then simply click ok so it's all about the model construction now let's start running the model and the model is now running slow it down and you can see the simulation now let's fast forward it to view the result okay okay so the summary of results have already been created so you can compare the exercise 3-15 performance measures to model 3-3 and 3-2 here you can see the average numbering system is 7.3 but in generalized parallel model is 4.6 and in specialized serial model is 12.39 exactly for average timing system is now 7.8 so average time in Q is 3.7 and the application process value is 124 so it appears that this partial cross training and partial generalization of the task reaps a lot of benefits of full cross training and full generalization
completion of the task. This concludes exercise 3-15. Thank you.